any idea. You don't need to look. What is the card number on it? No. What is the card number on it? I know. I'm. I'll. You, let me know. This is the same number I saw on your mama's <laughs> while I was <laughs> her. <laughs> That's it. That's all you have. <laughs> these guys are such scumbags. If you don't know where these all come from, these are Indian scammers who are ripping off people every single day. So the longer we keep them on the line, the better. So by me doing this, I'm saving the United States money. You're welcome. Scooter Swap Shop Service Department. That was nice. Um, all right. The mini truck. Where are we now? We have got the back mount made. The side mount made. And I guess I shouldn't say made, but it's, it's basically just going to be enough to lock this motor into the correct position. Um, we're gonna get this thing bolted in, and the way we designed it again is having this plate with holes in it so it can bolt through um, to the to the other metal piece here. So we can take this motor out pretty easily, and then we have our two bolts here that connects to the side of the cylinder head. We do have to get one more up here. Gonna wait until we kind of get this boxed in and figured out to do the front. I may work on that or try to figure it out today, but I'm probably gonna practice TIG welding a little bit because I desperately need it. Once the plasma table comes, we're gonna box this all out, gusset it, and do a ton of reinforcements. This is just the basics to get us started where we need to be. Um, this thing should probably be able to hold a LS1 by the time we're done with it. It's all mega overkill. It's quarter inch plate, but I'd rather have I'd rather have it be overkill. We also have the inch and a quarter um, tubing as well, so we're gonna get the tube bender set up today. Or I'll get this tube bender set up today and probably try to work on on the front section. Gonna order a um, a cable to hydraulic clutch master cylinder and start planning for the fuel pump and get that going. And my hopes is by by you know late January or something the drive shaft is gonna be in. Do you have to figure out reverse? I don't know. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do that yet. There's a few options. Um, Quaif, I think it's Quaif makes a reverse box, but that reverse box is about. 1500 bucks I think for the reverse box it's pretty cool but a little seat for what we're doing gonna lock this motor down hopefully this week and next week the guys can wire it up I'm gonna be on vacation for a week and a half for Christmas do it every year hopefully the guys can wire it up get the throttle figured out get the brakes figured out and kind of work out a lot of the um, stuff that we can get to at this point drive shaft situation reverse can kind of be figured out later I want to get the cooling system in get it all wired up so um, yeah Let's get this thing, uh, get this thing going. I've been trying to learn how to tick weld here and we're gonna do it on a mini truck. Chris bent up a hoop for the front motor mount. Um, we're using a thin piece of steel just to get the angle right. And once the angle's right, we'll use the 120 wall inch and quarter steel tubing. But right now he's gonna start with the skinny, see how the angle works out. We've got, obviously this is all gonna get trimmed down here and gusseted and everything. Um, this guy's welded up here for the most part. I'm gonna go back over it again. Again, I, I've we MIG the outside, I take the inside. This we just hit with the MIG. We're not professionals by any way, shape, or form, but it'll be pretty strong. Got some tacks here, and we'll trim this all up. And plate here, and that tube he's got, we're gonna run angled over there, weld to the face of this plate come and then angle down to here. So that'll be our front mount and then our back mount's good and our side mount. You know what you're doing? No. No idea? No, I'm just kind of guessing. Where'd that tool come from? That's Carter's dad. It's like Carter's grandpa's tool? It's Carter's dad. You need like four more levels, I think, then I'm it just, would be complete. No, this is eyeball level. Your eyeball level? <laughs> Where's my brush? There it is. There's my brush. So Chris is gonna weld bolts, nuts on the back side of here. That way we can bolt it in and just tack weld those, those guys. I just looked on like, I looked up generic master cylinders, like JEGS yeah. and Summits, they're like 30 bucks. It's like a 
generic master with like a two flange, just an arm. I think we just do that. Well, it's we pretty just pretty much like what my BMW one is, but but like more it's like this tiny. big. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So when it's you meant for clutch or it's generic? I think generic. I, I would imagine like the it's probably same. more controlled by like. I don't know how the science of that works really. Well, we could always make a plate and if it didn't work, we can measure the throw, see what works oh, and then make a move lever, it. So it yeah. moves it more. I would say start brain start brainstorming on that. I just Google search one and just buy one. They they look yeah. pretty standard. And just kind of see. Yeah, and then start brainstorming wiring stuff, what you want. So I think honestly next week next week you guys could probably wire. wiring and get the clutch figured out. And, and even start brainstorming the shifter. But I think wiring is going to be a few days. Yeah, it's going to be cool. several days. But I'd start, if we can if you can prep for the connectors. Are just, you talking to the plasma people? They're, it's like a month out now. Like we don't have an ETA, but what I am going to do. Like already here, right? Like two, three weeks. So she goes, what I am going to do is I'm going to give you a two-year warranty. I'm like. That wasn't included already? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 warranty. Yeah, that looks like clean, perfect uh, frame. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, that'll be good. You know that game Chase? You're playing Chase, right? And you get to go, hey, hey, let's go, cop. <laughs> so I'm coming out of Sausalito, and there's this cop coming out of Marin City. Anyway, I click my visor down, and there's Marin, there's a bridge that goes over to Strawberry, and the RZ just cleared at it out, man. I, yeah, I come off the line, all of a sudden, first gear it comes up, I'm gauging the height by backing off the throttle, not <laughs> getting into it. Crack second gear while I'm still on the rear wheel. Third! Fourth, I'm doing 110 on the rear wheel as it comes down. I bang, fish hook, burp, burp, <laughs> and it just starts burning tire. And I hear pink, and it's like the chain is humped up. And, go, and I just set the front end down. No, 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 no. <laughs> First, second, third, down into third, uh. right, left, into the gas station. What do I hear? Deer whistles. You know what? what cops out in the front of their car? Deer whistles. I mean, this one makes me shake every time I tell you. That bike was so radical. My friend said that's the fastest bike I ever rode, 240. The baddest in town. company meeting you ready yeah all right here's my here's my idea you ready Carter I'm ready to hear it. found a turbo kit for two grand stock headers alone are gonna cost a thousand bucks which means a turbo kit would only cost us an extra thousand dollars over just doing an exhaust extra thousand what do you think Carter I'm team NA you're team way. NA why yeah. let me hear your reasoning uh, what are you watching? Oh, Tur oh. Turbo Hayabusa videos? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that one turbocharged? This is a turbo smart car Hayabusa. Okay, so let me hear your reasoning on staying naturally aspirated. See? Mm, well, I think NA is pretty cool. Uh, I think it would be a little bit, little bit more drivable NA, maybe. But that looks pretty drivable too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, those, I don't know what their setup is, but yeah. 
I think you have, I think the point of the exhaust is definitely a strong one too. If I'm gonna spend a thousand bucks on headers, we're gonna spend a thousand bucks on headers well, anyways. If, well, like if we ever, so if we spend a thousand dollars building a nice exhaust system for NA, that'd just basically be like money down the drain if we ever did turbo later. Like then we, it'd be throwing it away. Unless we did that, like not, you know, unless we did a turbo downstream, like a rear mount turbo that was down, then we could still theoretically use those nice headers. That'd be the only way though. It wouldn't be like right off the right off the headers. So that is something to consider too, is like if the headers are made correctly, we could always use those headers later too. Yeah. You do have a lot more lag though. Way more lag. Yeah, but I mean it could be, you know, if it's a foot downstream, it's not gonna be like super excessive lag or anything like that. But there is that is something to think about too. What do you think, Chris? I'll need turbo. <laughs> that looks like I'm outvoted. <laughs> yeah, you get a raise of hands. Tur uh, all in favor of turbo. Raise yeah. hands. All in favor of turbo. All in favor of NA. All in favor of NA. Are you in favor of NA? NA? I like NA. Well, you gotta raise your hand. What? Oh. Oh yeah. So yeah. you're the only you're the only one that wants NA. Got to clean these up and go back over these again. Again, bear with me. I'm just learning how to TIG weld. Um, we've got this plate here welded on on both sides. So this, this thing is hooks to the front of the motor, as you can see, it's super strong. And those gussets will, I mean, this thing is overkill. We jumped on this thing last night and it doesn't move at all. Why did we put these on? It's like $100 worth of unis that we're gonna waste. Carter. Here's your trigger happy unis back. You don't want to run them? <laughs> no. The they all one? bow out. They all there was no there was a fourth one. There was just three, oh, but Chris, they bow out. No, they look sweet. They're like full race. Yeah, but they're all bowed out. So like the middle straight and the out ones are the sideways are sideways. I go. We should four Pelini nineties. Oh, <laughs> I think it's look sweet on there, but I just don't want to get dirty and filthy if we're not going to use them. We do four Pelini Evo filters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's Those are the carbs. Oh, that's, that's not, not going anywhere. anywhere dude. There's like no flex at all. At all. Here, I'll try to get a bigger leverage point on there. Oh. How much torque you putting out? How much are you putting out? Like at least 50 foot pounds. 50? <laughs> this will simulate full load on the suspension. How close does it get to the ground? Oh, it's miles away. Yeah, we're good. It's not even close to bottom now, right? My is this? Thing, oh, this thing's about to loot it. Look at the front of the truck. <laughs> you about ready to do wheelies. We should put hydraulics on it. Oh my God, this thing moves all over the place. <laughs> There's like no sway bar or anything. <laughs> no. Yeah, that doesn't move at all. It's like oh, wow. zero. Is this the 100% rigid, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Jeez, it's not right. going anywhere. Job well done. This portion, this portion, we'll just paint all black again. This thing kind of was a bummer because my plasma table isn't here and it's gonna be out like another four weeks. I'm not gonna wait on anything um, because it's gonna put the project too far behind. We've decided on the gas tank Rather than cutting the gas tank and putting the pump in it, we're just gonna put the, the tank back in the truck and run an inline, we're gonna do an inline pump uh, on a relay of course, with the fuel pressure regulator and we're gonna make a return system on this. So we're gonna, uh, uh, Carter's gonna work on that. I'm gonna be gone all next week. So they're gonna work on doing that. Um, that way it's constant flow, it'll be really nice. Typically they don't have a return at all. So we're gonna do a return on the, from the Hayabusa uh, throttle body. So pump's gonna go in, tank's gonna go in, they're gonna work on that. Carter's ordering up all the wiring components, connectors, wiring looms and everything to get this wired in. We've decided against this, because realistically, we wanna have a good temp gauge. The Speedo's never gonna work, because it's never gonna be accurate. The gas tank would never work. So all that would work on this would be the tack and then you've got your blinkers. So we're not gonna use this, we're gonna retain the stock dash. The speedo will not work anymore. The temp gauge we can make work. Um, and the, the nice thing is the fuel gauge is still gonna be factory and that's what we, that's what we wanna retain. On the clutch, what we're gonna do on the clutch here is, yeah, it's almost, it's cable. Yeah, so, the clutch is cable. The clutch is cable, and we're going to find a generic master that uh, with a plunger and fabricate a bracket off here. That way, this is hydraulic. 
they they don't they do make some floor mounted hydraulic clutches but my thought with that is right now everything's swinging this direction from the top if we do it that way it's going to be a totally different direction so the clutch isn't going to match any of the pedals it's not going to feel right the throttle we're going to have to do something as well too of course the shifters we've got the shifter mechanisms um hook the brakes back up this will be the last section of this video maybe a little bit more welding and then um and then next week is going to be wiring fuel lines getting the brake lines wrapped up probably hear this thing run in uh, about a week or so but thanks for watching well oh, something just fell out if you guys have any suggestions um tips or you guys know buddies that have done this the one variable that we don't know yet is uh is a reverse somehow we have to get reverse in here there's some people that use a electric starter like off of a 454 and then they weld the uh like a ring gear uh with teeth on it like a mini flywheel to the drive shaft and then that they hit it engages the spins but i don't really want to invest a bunch of money and bracketry into this diff because it's going to explode um maybe without reverse for a little bit there are some solutions for there's some billet uh, i forget the name but there's a couple companies in europe that make reverse boxes but they're about a thousand dollars a piece so we would rather not spend a grand on reverse but we may have to anyways thanks for uh bearing with us and stay tuned for the next video because my guess is the next video you guys will probably hear this thing start up at least